Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to the Correct Views. Sam I. B. D. Angie reporting for the Media Speaks. Today we have a nice, probably to be long show, proving man-made global warming is a lie. Um, I've been saying I wanted somebody to put a house beat behind that sentence since I've been saying it, which is now over two years. Man-made global warming is a lie. Is a lie. All right, we're going to start off with a bonehead here, Al Gore. Inconvenient lie. Um, I'm not going to go into this whole article. It's from the Washington Post. Uh, um, you can look it up. Washington Post. Al Gore. Um, they did an interview with him, and he gives all of his usual uh, fake science about global warming, which I'm about to be disproving in the rest of the show. But I want to get to this one thing he says, because it goes back to the notion of changing the definition of words in order to fulfill an agenda. Terrorists used to be people that blew other people up, that um, would kill other people for a certain agenda or in order to push a certain mindset. Now, terrorists are people that vocally support Eric Snowden. So you can vocally now support somebody and be a terrorist. I say that because this is pretty much what Al Gore does. Uh, here's the question that's given to him. Give me the optimistic scenario of what happens next. If all goes well, what do the next few years look like on this issue, which is, of course, climate change? Al Gore, well, I think the most important part of it is winning the conversation. I remember as a boy when the conversation on civil rights was won in the South. So now, man-made global warming is on par with civil rights. And you're just like somebody that is racist if you don't believe in it. See, see how they work this? I remember at a time when one of my friends made a racist joke and another said, hey, man, we don't go for that anymore. The same thing happened on apartheid. The same thing happened on the nuclear arms race with the freeze movement. So now man-made global warming is as dangerous as nuclear Armageddon. The same thing happened in an earlier area on abolition, back to the slaves again. A few years ago, I saw an article about two gay men standing in line for pizza, and some homophobe made an ugly comment about them holding hands, and everyone else in line told them to shut up. We're winning the conversation. So by tying this into all of these little liberal nuggets, uh, he's managed to make it so that you leave his speech feeling like, oh my God, you know, what have I done if I don't support this lie? Then, then I've let everyone down, and everyone's going to call me a name, and I'm going to be like the people that wanted to own slaves. Well, let's just look at the science, or lack thereof, with what he is talking about. This is uh, from cnsnews.com. What global warming, question mark, 2012 data confirms the Earth is in a cooling trend. Again, don't look at me and think, who are you, Sam? You're not a doctor. I am quoting doctors to you here. I am quoting science to you here. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration recently released its State of the Climate in 2012 report, which states that worldwide, 2012 was among the 10 warmest years on record. But the report fails to mention 2012 was one of the coolest of the decade and thus confirms the cooling trend, according to analysis by climate blogger Pierre Gosselin. In other words, um, one of the warmest years on record, minus, you know, the last 10 of which it's falling. And uh, before I go further, I want to point to some other science that a lot of people don't talk about. One of them is uh, this issue of California getting warmer and warmer and warmer. That is not the case. Here's the way they do this. Say they've been taking data statistics for the last 20 years. They'll say that California is warmer now than it has been since they've started keeping, excuse me, started keeping records. What they're not telling you is science has looked at the deposits in the ground, the, the earth itself, if you will. 
California has historically been much hotter. It is only in recent times that California has been as cool as it has been for the last 30, 50 years. Historically speaking, when you go back, California is going back to the way that it has always been, which is blisteringly hot. Man is not warming the planet. This is the way California usually is. It cooled down. It was a fluke. Therefore, the data is skewed. And that's important to remember. To no one's surprise, it goes on, uh, the report gives the reader the impression that warming is galloping ahead of and out of control, writes Gosselin, but their data shows the exact opposite. So uh, we're going to go into that. Although the NOAA report noted that in 2012 the Arctic continues to warm, and the, ice, the sea ice reaching record levels, it also stated that the Antarctica sea ice reached a record high of 7.51 million square miles on September 26, 2012. And the latest figures for this year show that there has been a slowdown of melting in the Arctic this summer as well, with temperatures at the North, North Pole well below normal for this time of year. Meteorologist Joe Bastardi, be careful how you say that one, calls it the coldest ever recorded. But the planet is warming up. The Associated Press had to retract the photo that it released on July 27th with the ice caption, the shallow meltwater lake is occurring due to unusually warm period. In fact, the water accumulates in this way every summer, AP admitted in a note to editors, adding that the photo was doubly misleading because the camera used by the North Pole Environmental Observatory has drifted hundreds of miles from its original position, which was a few dozen miles from the North Pole. And as you can see, my entire set is going black on me, so you might not have any more graphics for this one. Well, let's see what we can do. We'll give it a shot. Um, Noah has reported that the average low stratospheric temperature, about 6 to 10 miles above the Earth's surface, for 2012 was record or near record cold, depending on the data set. While even the concentrations of greenhouse gases, including carbon monoxide, continued to decrease. That would be going down for you Kesha fans. Even with all this data manipulation, the trend is down, as shown by the Hadley Global Plot, writes Joseph D'Elio, former director of meteorology for the Weather Channel. Did you hear all those people I quoted? This isn't something I made up, okay? This isn't something that's in Sam's head. Oh, we're back. This is absolutely fact. This is what the, the climate people don't want you to know. And if you, you, I know you're wondering, all right, Sam, Mr. Correct Views, I got a question for you. Why would they do this? They're doing this so that they can add taxes to your gas, add taxes to your fuel, Basically, add taxes to your life, okay? What do you mean, why are they doing this? I think it's obvious why they're doing this, especially in light of how many taxes have been passed to move us in the direction of Agenda 21 on this, which is all about global governance and nothing to do with science. It's about controlling the masses, where they can move, where they can live, and how much they're willing to pay to do all of that. Uh, this is from Natural News, J.D. Hayes. Associated Press caught lightly lying about global warming with deceptive photo and caption. I just covered it, but it mentions it again. Um, the AP is merely playing its part as a press lapdog for the climate change pushers whose agenda is to use phony climate data as a way to take away our mobility and force you into crowded urban centers where you can be more easily controlled. I personally would love to live in New York City, but I wouldn't like to be made to. Um, unfortunately, American taxpayers are also subsidizing the lies via funding for various federal agencies which share a like-minded agenda. That's why one such agency is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, before I mentioned NOAA, 
was originally released to report the state of the 20 Pro, and I, of course, covered that. So now you have the why of it all, for those of you that were wondering, well, why would our government do such a thing? This isn't even our government so much as it is the one world government. And, I mean, if you don't believe in it, then why don't you look up Agenda 21? It isn't something I just made up. Guys, as you can see, it's Bud K. Before I get to the last three stories that I have, I want to tell you to go to Bud K. I want to tell you that my set, as Christelle has set this up, doesn't work. Christelle, not a good idea. All right, guys, the behind-the-scenes queen normally does an amazing job. Bud K catalog. Go to TheMediaSpeaks.com. You want to know how to make this show better. You want to know how you can uh, help all the entire work that the Media Speaks does. Kyle Court, D. Lake, myself, uh, our affiliates like uh, Matt Winklejohn on uh, Resist the Tyranny. Do you want to know how to help us with this? Go to TheMediaSpeaks.com. Click on the Bud K ad. When you get there, you're going to find all kinds of really cool things. They've got knives, swords, ninja martial arts, hunting and shooting, Camping and survivor self defense and just plain old cool stuff. Um, I'm going to go to some of this. Uh, how many of you are worried about the uh, country's spy grid going out of control, as it were? Well, we have ways where you can know, spy back. Um, $44.99 UZI's Pro Spy device. They've got uh, military 7 by 50 millimeter OD binoculars, 191.99. That's much cheaper than you're going to find anywhere else. Self detection visible visible stain powder, 9.99. I mean, these are things that you don't find everywhere. Let's face it. When's the last time anybody's tried to mention they had a Yukon binocular night vision goggle with headgear? Why well, we got it? $299.99. So go to the Media Speaks. Click on Bud K and uh, support, the, support the Media Speaks by doing so. That's how we grow. That's how we move forward as an organization and, of course, as a news group. All right, guys. The Daily Caller. GOP Congressman, global warming is a liberal plot to create global government. All right, I've given you scientists. I've given you uh, proof from scientists the world over. Now I'm going to get into the political side of it. California Republican Representative Dana Rohrabacher told town hall meeting attendees that global warming is a, quote, total fraud designed to create a global government to control all of our lives. Just so you know, global warming is a total fraud and it is being designed by what you've got here is you've got liberals who get elected at the local level, want state government to do the work and let them make the decisions. Rohrabacher said in front of the Newport Mesa Tea Party last week, good for him. I'm going to go on. And then at the state level, they want the federal government to do it. And at the federal government, they want to create global government to control all of our lives. That would be the UN. <clears throat> That's what the game plan is. It's a step-by-step, -step, more and bigger control over our lives by higher levels of government. And global warming is that strategy in spades, he added. The Nation reports that Rohrabacher prefaced his remarks by saying that he wanted to respond to California Democrat Senator Barbara Boxer, who's one of the worst traitors of the country. Boxer recently said that the ongoing wildfires in Southern California has been exasperated by a dry season that is the result of climate change, according to the nation. Now, I've already told you that is not true. That is the way California has always been prior to maybe the birth of Barbara Boxer. If anything was born before Barbara Boxer. Our freedom to make our choices on transportation and everything else, no, that's got to be done by the government official who, by the way, probably comes from Nigeria because he's a U.N. government official, not a U.S. government official, or a rocker set, turning over our sovereignty, turning over America to the world to govern. The nation notes that in the past, he suggested that global warming has been caused by everything from dinosaur flatulence to rainforests. Rockwater is one of several Republican congressmen to make headlines of bashing global warming. Last week, Iowa Republican Stephen King told a crowd of global warming, told the crowd that global warming was more of a religion than a science. Oklahoma Republican Milwaukee Mullen told Think Progress that he did not believe in global warming. All of our records we've hit in heat waves, look at them. They're in the 1930s. 
Dust Bowl happened way before your time and my time, Owen said. And the cycles we had and the cold winters growing up, we've had them mild, we've had mild winters growing up. Again, proving that this is a common earth flux here. The Obama administration has been aggressive in proposing new regulations to cut carbon dioxide emissions in an effort to halt warming the planet. However, scientists and even the media have begun to point out that the warming trend has been flat over the last 15 years. The Economist reported that temperatures have not really risen over the past 10 years, and that over the last 15 years, air temperatures at the Earth's surface have been flat. There's nothing to do with volcanoes either. Someone said that volcanoes have spit so much ash into the atmosphere that it's a temporary cooling spell. Not for 15 years. Since 1998, there has been an unexplained standstill in the heating of the Earth's atmosphere, BBC News reported in May. No, there's not an explanation. There is an explanation. It's not unexplained. It was never a problem to begin with, and now it's being discovered to be the lie that it actually is. Um, I thought this was a full graphic that came with this article, so I went ahead and put it up. And of course, there's a chance that I'm just going to simply unplug it again, so I don't even know why I'm trying. But here we go. This is from naturaljournal.com, separating science from spin on the global warming pause. What's causing a temporary slowdown in planetary warming, and why should anyone worry that there is more warming coming? Is the planet, if the planet is warming, why have temperatures been on a steady decline for the last decade? They want to blame volcanoes. While greenhouse gases are trapping the heat, volcanoes are doing the best to block it out. Volcanic eruptions send large qualities of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere and slice the Earth's atmosphere that begins about eight miles above the Earth's surface. These emissions, known as volcanic aerosols, block the sun's light and heat from reaching the atmosphere. Well, there has not been this going on for the last 15 years. This, this recent volcanic activity has not been going on for as long as the science has been flat. So as a nice try, nope, not going to buy it. Last thing I'm going to get to, to prove, beyond all shadow of a doubt. Uh, let me put this graphic up as well. Um, that's not the graphic I wanted. That's even better. The graphic I wanted seems to have left the building. Oh, there it is. It's a ping. Don't you hate all these different uh, picture formats? They you know, look exactly the same anyway. Um, the red is the high temps. The purple, low temps, yellow, mid temps, light blue is a low max rainfall, and snowfall, of course, green and white. Now, I'm just going to give you a bunch of statistics here and let you look these up. They're all listed at climatedepot.com. It's 2899 record cold temps versus 667 record warm temps in the U.S. from July to August 19th. It says, um, UK scientists have turned on the UN, IEPCC, and man-made climate fears. The second lowest peak of Arctic melt season on record. Um, Fifteen peer-reviewed studies confirm Arctic was warmer during the medieval period. But what, they must have been warming it during the medieval period. For those of you that don't have a thinking part of your brain to use, please know that there was no factories during the medieval times, okay? They were not warming the planet with their factories and their oil. Make sure you go to the work of Ralph Fado. It's, uh, this is global warming, question mark. He proves that it's not. Guys, scientist after scientist, graph after graph, the planet is not warming. We are not warming the planet. There is just as much activity in both directions as there have ever been. There's tons of science that back up the man-made global warming. It's not only a lie, it's not science. It's bunk. You are listening to the correct views. Thank you for doing so, friends. Please donate to the show if you can. Uh, the correct views at hotmail.com. Uh, go to the uh, Media Speaks, look at the work of Kyle Coy, D. Lake, and myself. And of course, donate to the charity connection. Dana Mowgli Crest has lung cancer, and we are going to do everything in our power to make sure that she beats it. Let's face it, anybody who runs a charity and gets sick themselves goes to the top of the list when it comes to uh, getting healed, don't you think? Good night, friends. God bless. 
see you, my live friends.